Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. Um, it's been a really, really beautiful day. We had rain and wind, but today it looks absolutely gorgeous. And so I decided to get out and start uh, planting dahlias today because I'm actually, and many of you know that we arrived late, so I'm really late in planting, uh, starting to plant dahlias. I could have planted them earlier, definitely in my zone, but um, but again, they will they will grow and they will be fine. So um, anyway, but I before. Before I get started on that, I wanted to show you a few things that look really, really nice in the garden right now, such as these peonies. These are herbaceous peonies, but they look so beautiful. So I have two here that are blooming, and actually, I really like the combination and how close they are together. So, um, and many of you know that uh, gardening is really just thinking about how to layer the plants in a, in a bed, and it takes a long time because we plant some things, and some things just don't work out, and we we think about it and we look especially after they mature then we decide it's all kind of a deciding and thinking process to make our borders look beautiful but this particular one is really coming together for me I really like it, especially this um, irises in the background that are you know really blooming and the peonies I I planted new fofias last year they're they bloom this this is the first year they're blooming and actually I'm absolutely in love with them I think this looks just really gorgeous um, I also have three different peonies here. Uh, these are still small. I planted, this is a, a maxim, Festival Maxima. And, um, and many of you know, my garden got really dry while we were in the U.S. So there, uh, lots of the plants are, you know, doing good, but they could have done better if I, I was here and taking care of them. But they actually bloomed and did really good for, you know, being neglected uh, to the entire winter so they're blooming this year, and I think this will get bigger and fuller. I have another one here. It's a herbaceous peony. I have two. This one is blooming too. I haven't seen the bloom yet. Um, so uh, we'll see how this one looks. But I think the, this whole area will just be really nice and full as um, you know, as um, all these other peonies start maturing and filling all these empty spots. But I just wanted to show you this because I sit here and have my coffee sometimes before I get started to work, and it's just looking really, really pretty. So I had, and I have a one more, a couple other things I wanted to show you. One, I have a Bartzella that um, is blooming now, and uh, last couple, I think two videos before I planted peonies, and two of them were Bartzella. So. I I actually have three in the garden all together so two I just planted which are doing excellent but I have another one that you know I've had uh, planted a while back um, and it's kind of coming along because you know the time when I planted let's go this way and I can show you this area this is my woodland area as many of you know um, this is a kind of so this is a shady area okay uh, but honestly when I started planting here when there was uh, you know this area it was nothing here it was basically just covered with the vines and so I cleared out all the vines started digging and uh, creating this area and um, it was a lot more sunnier I had uh, a lot of more su filtered sun coming through the trees but as I started watering this area the trees really started taking off and you know started thriving and you know that means that they started shading more <laughs> so so when I started it was a lot more I had more sun but now I don't have as much sun because of the water but you know this is okay um, I do get afternoon sun through this area because uh, the sun comes this way and uh, it's still in the afternoon um, it starts coming through the trees so they do get some sun and I opened a little bit here to get a little more light um, so this year I think I will actually get more sun than I have especially since the if the, the sun a direction of the sun will change as you know we progress into the summer but um, this peony I planted here assuming there was quite a bit of a sun um, and it wasn't and I thought you know eventually I might have to you know um, uh, transplant the, the peony into more sunnier area um, but it actually this year is starting doing really good uh, it looks like it you know it does get enough you know we'll see we'll keep an eye on it and see but this year uh, last year I had one bloom which I was you know concerned uh, this year I have four one two three and four but I wanted you to see this bloom because this color is just absolutely gorgeous and I 
this this one of uh, one of these um, the the peonies uh, the, the Bar Barzella peony I will recommend for any any garden it likes sun uh, very hardy even for the colder zones and uh, and it's absolutely stunning it's absolutely stunning this plant so I wanted to show you how beautiful the brightness of this color it's very interesting yellowy color it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and so then I wanted to show you my climbing rose that we planted last year it's blooming and it's so beautiful I love the color so let's go this way and I can show you my climbing rose And as we talked, you know, before, um, climbing roses do take a little bit of a time to really take off. So we need to be, you know, more patient with them. Um, I think if we give like a couple of years, usually that's when really they, they really do take off and do well. But look at this. And when we planted last year, it was actually here. So you can see it grown quite a bit. But look at these blooms. They are so beautiful to me. Look at the structure. The petals are gorgeous. The color is amazing. And the size, they're not as large as, for example, these ones, the Edith Piaf. And I think this one maybe has been grafted from the hybrid tea. But this one is just so beautiful. And you can see they're not small. They're about a medium size blooms, but absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really enjoying this. And then my Isabel Otisier roses are blooming here. And <laughs> these guys are so pretty. Look at them. It has that gorgeous apricot in uh, color on the inside, and then um, other petals are uh, kind of pink, just really beautiful, and they almost glow in the sun. It's just so gorgeous. So anyway, everything is doing pretty good. I'm still keeping up with the garden, trying to get uh, cleaned up. This one, I still ha this bed, I still haven't gotten to, uh, which I'm going to hopefully today to tackle this project here and get this cleaned up. Um, but for most part, it's doing good with the, to consider all the winds and that we've had constantly, I have to come out and clean up after the wind, which is, it's been almost every other day lately. So let's go this way. As you guys know, this is the new area that I started when I came uh, when we came back to France. So this part I started digging, and I got this part ready. As you can see, I started this uh, digging this yesterday. My husband with my little shovel, uh, and and I love that shovel. It really works great for me. My husband calls it a magic shovel. <laughs> <laughs> it probably has some magic to it I don't, because I honestly don't know how I've done what I've done here. It's been so much work. But um, here I started digging again. You can see I wanted to do something here because I have uh, ordered a couple of more hybrid, uh, hybrid tea roses uh, to plant. And uh, anyway, I'll do a video when, I, when they arrive and I'll show you what they are. And also look at, look at this um, oriental puppy. This is my first year with oriental poppies, and my mom loves them. She has several, and I started planting them. I am really enjoying them. I think I'm going to order more in the different varieties, but oriental poppies are just gorgeous, and that the leaves are has uh, leaves have really beautiful structure. They always st the, they stayed green the entire season. So even though we don't have the flowers, uh, they're still very beautiful to have them around as a border plants because of the leaves. I, I really enjoy looking at them. So but we need to go ahead and clean up underneath them though, um, which I did, but they still need to be trimmed. So anyway, let's go to check it out, check out the dahlias and look at these irises. I've been stating, I staked all of them pretty much because of the wind, but they're quite tall, but um, they're doing really, really pretty. Oh, one more thing before I forget, I have another Ethiopian blooming here, which I've told, this is one of my stakes that I have been working on. Um, look at this. Oh, it has something in it. Uh, look at this a peony. This is an Ito Canary Brilliance. And it has this beautiful apricot color, but it does have a little pinky, pinker uh, shades on the edges of the petals. Look at that. 
so gorgeous. So I'm really excited about this. This year it's doing really good, although I think there was an area that got broke from the wind, but it's still doing really good. Okay, let's go check out these dahlias. So for the dahlias, we, we went to the nursery and I literally picked everything that was kind of there left because we were... We came back late in the season for dahlias, and I just picked whatever I could. So for most part, my favorite dahlias are the cactus dahlias. I love cactus dahlias and dinner plate dahlias. These are my favorite. But I I really wanted to get some pom-poms this year. Unfortunately, there was not many left. And so I picked up one. I want to kind of plant one and see how I like them. Um, so there was one that I picked. But anyway, most of them are cactus because I love cactus dahlias. Uh, this one is probably not, but I'll show you everything I have. And then I ordered a few dahlias from online here in France. And um, one that I ordered, actually, uh, I ordered four, di four different varieties. Two varieties are um, their dwarf varieties. And I thought they would, but but they're also cactus flowers. But I thought it would be really nice to have the dwarf ones right on the edges of the um, borders, and then uh, the tall ones. I decided to go with, uh, you know, a little bit in a farther into the beds and. And actually, I thought about having to be a little closer to the fence because then it will give uh, give me a support where in just in case if I need to tie them and stake them, you know, it would be easier for me to support them because sometimes some of them, you know, as you know, get quite tall and then it's, it takes several stakes to actually hold one dahlia together. And so anyway, that's kind of my plan. Uh, but I did get, I ordered a dahlia called Santa Claus. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with the dahlia Santa Claus. It is really pretty. Um, I this is my first time uh, go, planting them, um, but it it looks really great. It's it has a red and white contrast color on the petals. It looks really pretty, and we'll pop that on a screen so you guys can see it. I also ordered uh, Dahlia's Purple Jam. Purple Jam is really pretty. It's a cactus Dahlia, but it has a distinct, beautiful, bright color. I do have one, I think, in my garden uh, by the Japanese maple tree. And uh, when it blooms, the color goes really great with it. I enjoyed it so much. I went ahead and ordered uh, them as well. But we will go ahead and pop the picture so you can see these guys. Anyway, um, so just wanted to show you all the dahlias. Like this one is um, Java. Looks like this one is a Java. It's a cactus dahlia. But look how pretty. I love the colors. My pompon. I'm really excited to go with pompon just to see how I feel. I have never had one before. And these guys are this one called Eclairier. I think it's kind of a pink tone. I have a pink one, which called, uh, which is, it's about 50 centimeters high. I tried not to go to really tall ones with really tall ones because they just it's so difficult to stake. So I think cactus name what it's called, but anyway, it's beautiful. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's beautiful pink color. And uh, I have a couple of them that are the same. Uh, this one is, has a red tone. It's called Joker. Look at that. I thought it would be really nice warm tones. Um, I have one white one. It's kind of that variety. And some apricots. Okay, so this one I think I have two. No, this one is kind of an apricot color. It's looking really pretty, and it's called Geronium, Geronioma. So that, and this one is really interesting. I don't know, it's like it's 100 to 120 centimeters high, so it's going to be taller. But um, these c colors look really good to me, so I went ahead and order and purchased one of those. 
Um, so these are what we, I, I purchased from the nursery. And then I have some that, like the Santa Claus and the a purple jam. I ordered them from online. And I'm going to go ahead and plant them. And so just wanted to say that the dahlias here in my zone, uh, they are perennials, which is really nice. I don't have to dig out the pl uh, bowl, uh, tubers from the ground in the fall and store them for the spring. So it makes it easier for me. But for the co anyone that uh, uh, plants dahlias in a colder zone, you guys have to go ahead and um, dig them out and store them in a, in the winter time and then replant them again in the spring because they're fr frost they don't like to be frozen they're um, frost tender and so um, and uh, what I do is just wanted to show you really quick um, the way I plant my dahlias are I don't plant them very very deep but uh, you know I last summer I had so many beautiful ones and I enjoyed them so much so uh, this is why I'm going to add more and they're all coming back like I have to show you it's already mid-May and um, look at this they're already this tall looks like they got attacked by slugs a little bit here but um, look at this I mean these guys are already coming out look at that it's looking really good there is another one here and there's four right here, and they're all coming out beautifully. These are the Bartella peonies we planted about a week or so ago. Look how good they are doing. Look at this one. It's already huge. Isn't that amazing? I love to see the progress in the plant. It's just fun. So um, I wanted to show you really quick how I plant my dahlias and which uh, you know I they did really good for me last year the way I did it so this one is blood fish and bone fertilizer which I like to use for dahlias I used them last year and I experimented with them and dahlias really really like that they did really good so basically what I do is I just uh, dig into my soil and then I take some fertilizer, I sprinkle it, I mix it well, and then I basically just, you know, plant my dahlia. So I just wanted to do one, you can see, and then I will go ahead and it will take me a while to really think where I want them to be planted. So I don't want you to take too much of your time and make it to, the, to be a really long video uh, for you. Um, so I'll go ahead and plant everything, but I just wanted to... Oh, look, this dahlia is already growing. Oh, my goodness. I think this is the best part when you take one out and you see the growth on it. You know for sure that it's going to grow. This is really awesome. So you can see these are the tubers, and they look very healthy. There is a growth right here that's coming out, and you can see they. Cut, this is the area where they cut it. So this is how it will go into the ground like that. And so basically I'll just I just mix everything. And then, and then I dig out really well, and I plant them like that. And basically, I just color. And you can always make a, a, a place a little sticks here, a little stakes to remind you that there is, you know, stuff planted. I, I always make sure to stake them to know where they are planted, and that that really helps you because in case you have to step on it or something, make sure that you, you know you don't damage anything that you can see that it, or forget that it's been planted. Okay. Um, also for the dahlias, just wanted to mention that um, you know they really don't like having wet feet. They don't. They like to ha be planted in the soil uh, with a, a free, well-drained, draining soil. So when you water it, water doesn't sit in the soil. It actually gets drained. So anywhere, if you have that kind, that type of a soil clay, um, make sure to amend the soil really well and uh, uh, make it lighter by mixing compost or um, you know a little bit of a sand or you know. Um, you know stuff like that to just to make sure that your soil is fluffy enough and have a free you know good drainage for the dahlias so i think that's all for today you guys um just wanted to share everything that i'm doing in the garden it's been really fun to communicate with all of you and read your messages and stay in touch and i think this is why i really started my garden because i spent so much time here um and uh, i'm sorry i uh, the, the reason why i really started the videos is because i wanted to be connected to uh people who love gardening such as me and 
um, you know, I've been spending so much time here working all the time, and um, you know, and I don't really uh, get connected to people who love this kind of thing. And so it's beautiful to read all your messages, stay connected, know what you are doing, and please post some pictures of your plants because I really like to see your gardens um, and uh, see what you're planting and your flowers and something that you really enjoy and you know you would like to share. It would be really fun. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful day and. Uh, um, thank you so much for all your support and uh, I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.